Welcome back to a video here on the second channel. This is a response to my slime block elevator video I posted a few days ago. I got a tweet from Zavum or Xavum24. I'm not going to put the tweet on the screen because I'm recording this for the second channel, which means there's going to be no editing involved. But there will be a link to the tweet in the description box down below. What I've built in this world is their design, and I'm also going to update the world download as well, so when you open it up, you'll see this over here. This is not a tutorial, it's just me telling you about this design. So we've got the up and down arrows at the front, which is amazing. That removes two observers from the equation as the signal basically works the same way when it's passing it uh, around the back here. Now you'll notice that some of the redstone has been replaced with powered rails. That's another way of sending the signal around. I believe that's to reduce lag um, because it pretty much works the same way as redstone and it's not cheaper. So you can replace that with redstone if you want to. Um, and then you'll notice the other thing is that there is a sticky piston here that's missing. That's because it actually wasn't necessary to include that. It's kind of an oversight, one of those things where you get so caught up on designing one part of the contraption you fail to notice that. So this is what I love about Minecraft community is that there's all sorts of people out there who want to contribute to the designing process and other people have got other ideas, different ways of looking at contraptions and with some back and forth we can end up with something even more elegant. So if you watch that video you could probably tell I was really really happy with this. I thought it was such a great little way to take a, an old design and update it with observer blocks make it more compact. Well that's been taken to the next level now. So let's jump onto this thing and use it. We can go up by pressing this we can go down by pressing that and I love we got the blocks here to make it nice and clear which one is which. So this thing doesn't run any faster, it's a little bit cheaper, maybe not if you use the powered rails and it pretty much does the same thing and it is really cool. So that's kind of all there is to talk about this video, right? If you go over to the main video, which will also be linked in the description box and get the world download from there, you can get your hands on this thing over there. And of course, if you find a way to compact it further, which I'd be very surprised by, then you can always tweet me or tweet me about anything Minecraft Redstone related. Um, yeah, you can always do that, of course. Anyway, I'm waffling. That's it for me this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye.